Here's an FM transmitter that I designed and built back in college and this was my senior capstone project. This thing defies, some of you may believe, it defies every logic of RF possible which it probably does because it was built rather crudely. But anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and turn it on now. I got this cheap radio. It Batteries are low. It works okay. Well, I think the batteries finally gave out on me. There we go. Well, that's enough of that. Let's go ahead and unplug it. Basically, the way this thing works is I made this out of a, an old satellite C-band direction rotator. And this is just a piece of plastic that came unglued. But I thought it looked rather good. This came out of an Echo Star matching receiver that this came from. I decided to say, hey, this fits perfect, so... Let's get it to fit in there and actually made it look halfway decent. But that's a view meter scrapped from a Pioneer 7 SA780 or something like that. And there's this your standard Noritake two line by 20 character display. And there's nothing more than just a piece of wire coming out the back as an antenna. Um, this thing is very crude in design. There's bubble wrap and duct tape and aluminum foil the op amp circuit that's running the view meter the view meters board uh, the Noritake display and all the hot glue holds it in there's the voltage regulator board that runs the filaments of the tubes and 5 volts for the entire circuit there's the Atmel AT Tiny 2313 circuit the old crystal which controls this old Belkin tune cast. Basically what had happened is this tune cast had a cracked screen where someone dropped it or sat on it or something so that's what inspired this idea. Um, and there's the amplifier module. This is what I mean by defies all physics of RF because this is bad. Everything is acting as a crude wire. See the coupling wires that connects all the stages together and there's the blue RF chokes and basically it's a peaking circuit you got your tank circuit with each coil and then there's a 2N 3866 output which is argumentatively 5 watt but I think it's 5 watt power dissipation and it's just like maybe one and a half watts output I'm not sure but even though the sample fire is very crude it's extremely sharp in the tuning if I move, if I take and move the up and down on the frequency, if I get it much below 105, it sharply drops off. There's no output whatsoever from the amplifier. 
course I can still hear it on the radio because everything in here is acting as an antenna is radiating RF energy sometimes it'll cause the CPU to glitch out and produce garbage on the display but a lot of times it works fine so anyway um, it works okay then uh, you got your BNC I actually had an F connector on the back of it reason why is at the campground I used a pair of rabbit ears that connected back here through a 75 ohm cable and at the antenna itself I had a 75 to 300 ohm ballon and I had the dipole which was a set of rabbit ears are adjusted for 106 and the 106 band and believe it or not this crude little device would cut would cover the entire campground all the way across the lake and then all the way to 101 in Indiana before it would start fading out and that was a pretty long distance but because this thing is no has noise all over the spectrum I quickly decommissioned it because it's not worth going to jail over is, is the way I the way I'm concerned but you know other than that it's fun to play with there's the power on relay circuit back there uh, <laughs> You could see some of the soldered wires and crude coupling capacitances and everything like that. And, well, it works okay. It's a fun toy to play with. So, you gotta love it.